Hey everybody. Yeah. Welcome back to Once Upon a Game. Uh, we're getting to our second hour here of uh, episode two, where we're playing Fiasco. Uh, with the home invasion uh, playset, and we all decided that we're aliens. However, half of us are, are one tribe of aliens, or like one species or race of, of aliens, and in the other half are are, are sworn enemies. And um, we're all vying for power um, in the in sort of like a weird like Cold War standoff uh, in a for a homeowners association in a small town. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're the best aliens. Uh, so we're ready to begin. Um, I'll go first. Um, I'll, I'll create the scene and I'll let you guys figure out uh, what die I get. So um, this is a scene I want to see. Uh, this is the this is gonna be the scene where I meet Beatrice again after like getting reunited, moving into town. Okay. Right? Like I said, I was from I was from outside of town or whatever. Yeah. So um, I think um, I think we see a a, a van. Uh, like a really old, uh, beat up white van, but no markings. Uh, pull up in this very, very pristine lawn or uh, uh, driveway or uh, street, like right in front of like this very like neat, perfectly seated, uh, seated house, um, in a, in suburbia. And um, you see the pastor get out. You see you see uh, the reverend uh, get out of this van, and um, you know he, he rings the doorbell. And he's holding a, a set of flowers. Uh, it's Beatrice's house. Okay. Ding dong. Beatrice, op like, there's probably uh, a call. Just a minute, and uh, oh yeah, you have, you have an intercom. I think I do. Yeah, actually. Okay. That, that, that's, <laughs> awesome. Um, okay. I was gonna say she just yelled, but no, okay. I think she has an intercom. Um, and then yeah, you hear footsteps, and then she opens the door. Um, she, she's like, oh, uh, actually, what would we? What would I call you, Pastor, Father Reverend? Um. You would recognize your. It's like uh, I. I look at you like looking confused. Like you don't recognize your brother. <laughs> as, as I hold these oh, flowers. Yeah, I like go in to hug you. Yeah. Like oh, you finally made it. Yeah, so. and and I hug him, and um, I look around. Like I I look uh, around to see if any like humans are watching us, right? Yeah. And and um. I don't worry about them. If 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 any of them are even nearby, they're going to be paying attention at all. Oh, good. Well, uh. Come in, I mean, come we in. shouldn't we shouldn't take any chances. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's it was uh, quite a long drive from Nantucket, and um, so we Hello? close the door, and uh, and I, I I look at you and uh, and I say, you're you're doing very well for yourself. Um, what what do, what do the humans call you now? Oh, they call me Beatrice. And I as I were I were talking, I close uh, the door and then like lock it. Yeah, um, and there's like three bolted locks or something yeah. crazy. <laughs> Beatrice, uh, you know, do you remember the last time you chose that name? All those deaths, Beatrice McMaster's this time. Don't okay. worry. Yeah. So you, I mean, the last time was in Salem, and we don't want to, we don't want a repeat of that. Shh, shh, shh. Salem never happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not on any of the confidential reports being sent home. Uh, Anyways, um, have you been to your new church yet? Oh, that place! No, I, I literally just got in, and and uh, ah. I wanted to see you first. I wanted yeah, to know how goes the plan. <laughs> and like, you know, like we look at the camera. I think yeah, Beatrice. Uh, she is doesn't stop or stutter or anything. She like goes to her fridge and, and as she's talking, she says, "Would you like anything to eat?" Uh, what were you saying, Nano? I was gonna say, is Beatrice? Beatrice is the NP, like the wife of the um, Cassius person that we're all trying to go after, right? So uh, nope. you... Beatrice is my character. Oh, all right. Yep. Sorry. No, that's fine. Beatrice is my character. We haven't named Chris Nasser's wife if he has one. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. So. That's it. Think... Yeah. So yeah, I open the fridge and then like like start looking through it, taking out random pieces of food and say, "Would you like anything to eat?" And I haven't like addressed your your the plan thing. Uh, peanut butter would be great. Ah, of course. And I like you can now see in the fridge just like six jars of peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> And I They're like gallon spoons. tubs of peanut butter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I grab two spoons. Uh, and then, yeah, we, we have start eating out of like ice cream. Yeah. Just, just peanut butter. Uh, yeah. Just, just, just scoops. Like a <laughs> and like it doesn't stick to our mouths. Yeah. That's exactly. how we know we're aliens. Like, oh, there's one thing these humans have gotten right in advance. 
it's their food. This is delicacy. Have you had it before? Can well, you I, bo- <laughs> uh, is this crunchy? My God. Do you not like it? No, it's it's fantastic. I must have more. <laughs> I just start like wolfing it down. Could I have it be a thing where you like both are like cooing over this and you're like, oh, the people at home would never let us eat this much. This is... <laughs> This is like yeah. the food of the emperors. Or yeah, this is like, exactly. Yeah, yeah this is the food. This. this is a uh, food reserved for uh, kings and and leaders. Yes, and <laughs> leading leading to you. Uh, so soon, nom 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 nom. Soon, soon you will be the leader of these humans, right? Yeah. I mean, with oh, me here, there's no way this plan absolutely. is going to fail. Absolutely. The. Uh... There is one man who is the leader right now. His name is Chris. Na- like, should, I, should we name him? We were sort of iffy on the yeah. name. No. Okay. I was calling Chris Nasser. Yeah. His name is Chris Nasa. Now he is a. Now he's married, and I'm not sure what that means exactly. Uh, not uh, sh- uh, let me interrupt you there, sister. I am no. a man of what the humans call of the cloth. I have the authority to. Uh, divorce people, which means ah. humans, uh, things don't happen anymore. They just like, 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 uh, cut in half. But, but uh, in terms of marriage stuff, not literally. Way less gross. <laughs> sometimes, oh, yeah. sometimes it's some also gross. Sometimes I don't. I never really done it before. I just heard stories. Ah, well, I think you your expertise and authority will be most valuable. Excellent. With, yeah. With uh, his wife out of I don't even know her name. She, he will, if I can bend his ear, then uh, then we have succeeded. Excellent. The, and the, we, power, the power behind the throne is greater than the throne itself, after all. Yes, and high five me in the ways of our people, and we what, draw. <laughs> okay, do we? We okay? We do and, have an actual and, high five. Yeah, some sort of a weird alien high five, and then okay. and then that's our scene. That's my scene. Awesome. Uh, so uh, everyone else, uh, white die or black die for me. Literally arbitrary. What is the difference? Yeah. Uh, uh, black th- die means something bad happens to you. Like, like eventually, it doesn't necessarily mean because of the scene, but it's just like something mm-hmm. bad, like negative karma. And then white means good. Mm-hmm. Um. So, uh, this is literally for um. Since it was my scene, uh, this Primark, Nano, and Adam, you get to just say. Um, yeah. Um, white die or black die, and the, because this is the first act, I'm giving away this die to someone else, anyways. Yeah, exactly. So just, just give me. I one. don't know. So I black think... die means nothing bad happened. So black like, die means something we... that means bad. Yeah. Okay, so this was... I don't know. I don't think anything bad happened here. You're both like discreet, so I'm gonna give you a white die. Okay, cool. Um, um and yeah, I'm gonna white die. I think I, I I feel like my character would probably get all. And Adam gets overruled regardless. Yeah. Um, I was going right. to say black because I feel like you're under Beatrice's control, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm the I'm the right hand. Okay, but that's true. Uh, we haven't we haven't exactly met and realized that the sudden need for uh, getting the need the plan in motion with me, you Adam. But okay, so um, I got that white die, but I'm passing it over to Primarch because he played an excellent Beatrice. Awesome, thank you. So my turn's over. Um. Who's for, it now? for the interest, okay. yeah, for the interest of, of regular scene telling stuff, um, let's go around the the order that we that's written on roll twenty here. So Primark. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think, yeah, this is this is some time later. Uh, we probably see like, uh, well, actually, no, I don't know if I want to set it up or not. I think I'll because there's like a resolve and a setting up. I think I will actually try to resolve the scene so i choose what i get and yes. then between you three you get to choose what my scene is okay so i'll do that keep in mind you don't get to keep this die you have to give oh it yeah up. i give it away yeah okay so what die you want white or black um okay I'll, uh, if i should choose it first then i will choose let's choose black i can't i can't don't seem to be able to move them myself i think you have to eric because you made them what's funny is i couldn't move one of them, but I can move two. I think it's something to do with how zoomed in you are versus how big the object is. At some, when you're too zoomed out and the object is too small, it just doesn't let you select it. It's kind of weird. I haven't figured that part out of full 20 yet. Um, I gave you so many dice. 
There we go. There. Okay, so, uh, yeah. What is my next scene? What is what is Beatrice doing? Probably. Um, I'm curious finished. what your neighbors at war. Ooh, yeah. like that. Let's yeah, see. why did you establish something between us for why and how we're at war? Awesome. No, that's you know, that's that could be your job right now. So yeah. he's asking basically when in this game, when he, he gives you the power, he gives us a, like you who's not me. him the suggest. power. Yeah, we, tell we tell him what the situation is. So yeah. you can like okay. punish people for this kind of stuff. Like like in so like was, a hilarious way. I was gonna I had an idea, since you're both going after Mr. Masters, I could be like try to go with uh what's his name? Um Eric and be like, Hey, since we're both like we're both interested in um Mr. Mas Mr. Nasser's family, but I'm really interested in Mrs. Nasser, I could help you a part, a man of the cloth try to break up, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Nasser. That's just a thought I had right now. I don't know if that. I don't know. I don't think um, you know me quite yet. Maybe. Oh. I mean, it doesn't have to be linear. Um, yeah, because. Uh, so right now, got, so do we have to think of why um, I'm at war with Mr. B, with Madame. Yeah. McMasters. Yeah, because this is still like Beatrice's scene. This is something like she, like, she wouldn't call it hate because that's barbaric, but she hates Domingo Cross. So how about, okay, I've got an idea for, like, this sort of suburban setting. How about, like, I have, like, I really like pets in this reality. So I've got, like, I don't know, a large dog or something, and the dog is, like, just outside your home right now, pooing yeah. on your immaculately uh, manicured uh, lawns. No. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Okay, yeah. So open with that, Nano. So yeah. Okay, just, so just the promise. scene is I'm like I don't see you two go in. I'm like inside just trying to get the leash and the leash and trying to get my dog ready to go out. And so like I go outside and like I see there's a new van outside Miss McMaster's home and I'm like, hmm. And so like well, new home I I'll show them who's boss and so like I get like okay and I just go with something like okay, spike mix Okay, Spike McGruffy, McGruffy, let's go and Great leave. <laughs> let's go and leave the evil of a woman a lovely present for her and her new guest. And so oh. that's literally me just walking out onto your lawn. And like, like full on leash. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Well, okay. You two are inside or something. Awesome. Um, so before we continue, I don't think it's applicable for this scene, but just as a thing for everyone to know, uh, with Fiasco, if there are prominent NPCs, you can just ask a specific person to play that NPC. Yes. Um, so um, then, yeah. Does anyone want to... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, I might be in this scene, so I don't think I will. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you're like you're still here. You just you just hear screams. Like, <gasps> like I, I can't scream my every yeah. And then, like... I just the door slams open and I run outside, um, like bare, like still barefoot, um, probably still like a peanut butter filled spoon in my hand. Yeah. What are you doing? How? What? Get off! Get off my lawn now! This I am um, according to according to like the XX rule of the XX statute. I am allowed to be on anyone is allowed to be on anyone else's lawn for any reason. And I am. This is just where my wonderful scruffy big spiky scruff is wanted to do his business. You can't begrudge a poor animal, could you? We have a dog park down the street for a reason. Take him there and you pick wouldn't ex that up. I think you. I think that as a as a regular woman of the people, you could do that yourself, wouldn't you? You wouldn't want anyone else to think you're above them. You pick up your own mess, or or I'll report you. Oh, really? And what are you going to report me for this time? For that. And I just like point at the, the present, the poop. And I just, it's and I just, 
I just turn around and begin like, come on, come on, Gruffy. We're going to go where we're wanted. Cool. Scene. Yeah, I think I just like, I probably just like storm inside and then uh, like, you probably like don't know what's going on. You're, you're like, uh, Eric, you're past your father, Reverend, just like just sort of looking. No, uh, I, wait, wait, I would stop okay. you there because sure. there's a chance that I want to roll. I make that at my us scene. Okay, sure. So then, yeah, I just throw him inside. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Okay. Um, so who gets the black die? Ah, <sighs> you pooped on my lawn. You pooped on my lawn. Domingo Cross gets the black die. Can you drag it? I can't drag it. You have to drag I, it. I can't drag it. Zoom in more. You might be able to drag it if you zoom in more. Usually that's what happens for oh me. Oh my god, that's so dumb. Yeah, if it's too zoomed out, it won't like, uh, like register that it's mousing over a draggable object. So yeah, Domingo Cross gets the black die because Beatrice will have her revenge. Oh, totally. No, I still can't drag it. Uh, uh, Nano, do you just want to draw a black like? There we screen? go. All right, I did it. You got it. Okay. Cool. God, that's fun. Yay. So uh, yeah, that was my turn. Now it is your turn, Domingo Cross. Now, so you can oh, choose. I thought that was my scene. No, nope, that was my scene. That oh, was all right. Yeah. So you can choose if you want to uh, start the scene or end the scene. Basically, uh, is, ba- is, is mm, yes. Yeah. Because every scene you end up getting a die. Uh, you have the option at the start to be like, I want to make a scene about the fiction that I want to see in this in the scene, but I give up yeah. the control of what die I get, or I can control what die I get, but I lose control of the fiction. Yeah. But, okay, I want to have a setting or a scene where me and Adam are established as how we are the golden child and the black sheep. Perfect. Um, okay, so then Adam, you get to choose not only, I think it's not just the die, but it's also you get to say how and when the scene ends. If you, like, when the conversation ends, did yeah. you, the assumed or the argument or discussion, or did you lose it? You get to choose that, Adam. So like right now I'm like going off to the dog park with my with Spike McScrufferson or something. And I'm and I forgot to control the leash. Oh, all right. So I made you go out with it. Yep. Well, like I came back inside and said, "Here, go take the go take our pride and joy to the park." <laughs> cool. All right. So now I'm back home then. So, um, what's happening now? Like, um, could I be like? It's what's... totally up to you. Oh, is it still up to me? I thought like after I said that, like somebody else would be like, okay, this is what's going to happen. Is it still all? You basically, narrate the entire first half of the scene almost. You like, oh, you yeah. Have Adam will speak his lines, um, and he'll be in character. But if you want to like say this is what happens during the first half of the scene, that's what happens, and then it switches. Adam then. We'll okay take then. The second half of the scene. Mm. Okay then. Maybe it would be like, uh, don't forget, uh, don't forget to like pick up the doggy bags. Uh, don't forget to make the take them towards the park. They, I mean, like towards the swings of the park. You know, they're like, you know, they're like being near the swings and like like being near the children and stuff. You I'm having a lot of trouble. Tell me this. What do you mean? You've taken the dog out every day for like the past week, for like the past few years that we've been here. So yeah, as you, he, he's just frustrated because he's <clears throat> what's the routine for doing this, and you're telling him to how how to do it already. And don't forget this because I know you're going to forget. So okay so yeah like and also don't forget i know that i know that you like want to get something afterwards so don't forget to take some money and like i hold out to don't forget the keys to get back so i don't have to let you in again are you guys similar ages i imagine that uh um, yeah like he was like i don't know nine years separated in human relation or something yeah cool um 
And so then I'm at home, and so then, okay, so what it'll be is I'll be like in his room, right? And like just try to rearrange it in what do I think would be appropriate for them. And then once I'm done in their room, rearranging over all their things, I'll like be, maybe I'll be working on the plan to get the body back. Well, maybe that could be a separate thing. I don't really know. Anyway. Hmm. Could be. It's an it's like an alien disguise as a human body, so you could do literally anything with it. Okay, so then what I've got so then what I want to do is like I put my hand in like a indescript part of the wall that just has like maybe a stain around it and it like grill glows green and then it'll be the end of the scene. Cool. All right. Is right. that was that right? And there's like the yeah. sound of the, yep. the of the door shutting as I'm taking the dog outside. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, I think then you started the scene, so we get to choose what dye you get. I think you get a black dye. I agree. Me too. So black dye means something is bad going to happen later, right? Maybe, maybe not. It's there's, You still roll the dice afterwards. No, I, I'm still pretty lost to know this, but I'm trying... The, the, the dice are simply representations of what will happen later. Yep, but, but now okay. you give that die away. Yep, now you give the die away to someone else. I'm going to give it to my uh, beloved, uh, beloved, um, slower and weaker and everything else brother. Okay. I have to literally copy and paste and then delete the original die it's, because it's I can't make these things on this way. Alright. That is really weird. It is, but uh, we're, we're getting through it. So, uh, Eric, yes. I'm, it's not your turn. I'm wrong. It's Adam's turn. Yes. So I want another black die, and I want you all to tell me how I get it, because I am the black sheep, so I want black dice, right? Hmm. Wait, something... Okay. I want to see a really, like the the gossip over the fence stuff and the plant and the plan like both of those between sure. Pastor Father Reverend and uh, Rudy Cross. Now, at, Eric, you wanted to have a scene still in Beatrice's house, but could yeah, this but, just but this doesn't have to be chronologically exactly. Uh, um, that's what I was going to say. It doesn't have to be non it does it can be totally nonlinear. Um, yeah. Yes, because I want, also want to do a scene of meeting um, Rudy and stuff like that. So I think this is going to be a scene in the future where we already met. Um, I think we are meeting at. Um, hmm, I guess we're meeting at the fence. Um, I, I like the like the literal a literal fence. Yeah. Um, yeah. Could I suggest maybe both meet at like the dog park? We don't have a dog. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, no. I probably have one of those uh, like a tiny fluffy dog. That's. Mm -hmm. I, I have a tiny fluffy dog. Oh yeah. Oh, I like the idea that I'm actually I stay with you, Beatrice. Because yeah. I don't have a house yet, because yeah. of homeowner association. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, so I'm, I'm walking your dog at the dog park, and and so then we, and there are two houses with two neighbors. Two of those neighbors hate each other, and two of those neighbors are really good friends. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Just like real life. Yep. Um, okay. So so we're, yeah. Uh, so we're at the dog park, um, and and we're we're gossiping, um, and I think. Uh, I think I noticed something strange about your dog. I think your dog's actually an alien too, uh, in some way. <laughs> I would uh, hate regular dogs. Uh, yeah. So and I, I th think I think this is the first time I realized that there's other aliens in this town. And uh, like, I think this is the first time. Um, and so I'm I'm trying to feel you out if you're like the good kind or the bad kind. Um, or like. The kind that's on your side or the kind that's not. Yeah, yeah. that's what I meant by like, good oh, kind of bike. Yeah, subjectively. Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe you maybe you could let's do something that do something that's like strangely alien, yeah. but like regular humans would just be like, uh Oh, I got no, I got it, I got it. So we're i I'm sitting at the I'm sitting at the park, right? And uh, we're both sitting like at the bench, like kinda awkwardly. Uh like as the dogs do it like <laughs> run around and do their business and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And uh I look around I I look to you, I'm like Hey, that's a that's a that's a mighty nice dog you got there. And I've got it like I've got the leash like this. Yeah. Cause I I don't want my big dog to like 
yeah. Like interacting with your small dog, and then like all of a sudden they don't like each other or something, and then yeah. I'm trying to prevent like a dog interaction from happening, so I'm just like, I've got the leash short on my right side. Totally, totally. So, um, and I, I'm looking at I'm looking him over, and it's like, what uh, what kind of breed? What kind of breed is it? Um, I've seen so many, but I don't think I've ever seen a a, a dog quite like yours. And then I'm trying to cleverly think of an excuse, and I'm like, I got it at. Like out, like, out of a cardboard box, just, like, at the local school. I think it's a mutt. Oh, it's a mutt. You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, and I, I look it over, like... It's very clearly a, a purebred golden. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh, yeah, I, I think I could see different... Uh, yeah, is that... He kind of has ears like a beagle. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Um, is is, is that there... right? <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm as clueless about this as you're appearing to be. Um, I think. Oh, uh, can I? Do you mind if I pet it? Yes, of course. And then um, I try to carefully like maneuver myself so that, yeah. Um, I think I think I, I pet it. I think I pet it, and um, the dog uh, gets like happy and excited for me. Like mm-hmm. I, like I'm petting him in his right spots, and uh, and like I like I scratch him a little bit, and then I pick up my hand, and it's like it's like gooey a little bit, like like some kind of like like alien skin thing. And I'm uh, like, oh, it looks like your your dog's a little wet. Um, <laughs> and and this is like the part when I realize that like. Oh, you see, he was he was rolling around in the mud a little bit. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, it must it must be mud. Hey, um, listen, do you have any peanut butter? Um, <laughs> at home I think I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just thinking that uh, it's a good treat for dogs. Yeah, it's it's a great treat for dogs, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you out of some? I have some. Oh, you, you! Yeah, I just like I just like for you to like pull out of your out of your. I don't know. Like, I just I just I just thought better. that you might uh, you might have I don't know. You, you just seem like someone a, a good a good kid who, who would carry peanut butter around with them. You know. Hold on, I did pack lunch, and then I'm like. <laughs> and you have yeah, a down toast. Like yogurt, but it's t- peanut butter. Yeah, it's <laughs> peanut butter goker. I uh, unpack like a a sandwich that just has like condiments on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh no. Like, and that's, that's the con. White bread and then just like some mixture of like red and yellow. And yeah. Just, like, it's it's like it's ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise just in, in lines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I look at it and I'm like, oh, and then and I think that's the part where we like we like the, 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 the music the music like, turns on like like the Kill Bill like uh, uh, yeah. like 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 you're an alien. <laughs> <laughs> And then I've got like this little um, hand-sized, like, uh, circular pack of like Jif to go or something like that. Oh man! Oh, uh, boy, you have you have quite a uh, good taste uh, in in sandwiches, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like very nervous now. <laughs> Listen, um, I would, I've would... got no clue about this, so I'm like. Well, it's my one. What I would like is for you, to, if you two have already done that eye contact thing, I would like for you two to say like something that would be like in your native language. But like, I, I, would, I wouldn't give it away. Language. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I've just been not... dropping really heavy-handed hints. I wouldn't give it away like that. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, do you invite him to your youth group soon? Yeah, I, I, I listen. Like, listen, son. Um, if we're not doing anything on uh, Sunday afternoons, um. I'm I'm the new pastor. I'm I'm Pastor Father Reverend, and uh, and uh, I'm I'm looking I'm looking for someone to help me set up a, a youth group. And you seem to be like a smart young lad. You're a guy, right? I'm calling you. I, yeah. Okay. I'm Ru- I'm Rudolph. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I saw Rudy, and I couldn't. I didn't remember. Thank you. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Um, Fair enough. Okay. Um, and I'm. I'm, I'm probably like seeking attention. Yeah. 
as, just as a person because I don't have any, and I like it is like garbage. You know, I think yeah. like I think like the like Lord, you know that like to things. Well, like I give you is like this sort of patronizing attention. I've been a pastor yeah. for a long time, son, and uh, it's been very. And I can tell you that you've been touched by the Holy Spirit, and uh, you're you're going places. And uh, you should you should speaking of going places on Saturdays I'm going I I'm starting up a uh, youth uh, youth Bible study extreme extreme teen Bibleism and uh, it'd be great <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's it's really Is that cool. a get together like a family reunion of of sorts of of Christ's family but it's mostly teenagers and we do extreme things like read the Bible can I come absolutely son. am I allowed to yes please. Oh, okay. So you you've been you were you were one of the most well, uh, like, I can just tell by 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 looking at you that you were one of the most gifted people and we should you should you should definitely come. In fact, you might you might even make a really good leader. Uh we I, I we have quite a future in store with each I'd other. I'd love to get out of the house. Yeah. White, what? <laughs> <laughs> and um okay, I think I think that will be the scene. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Yeah. That's bonding. Cool. And you wanted a white die? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. You received a white die, and now you can dispense with it as you see fit. I shall give it to Oops. this brilliant die to my holy father, pastor, reverend. Alien. Aw. Thank you. Cult leader, master. All right. Um, and that brings it right around to Eric. Okay. Um, so for this scene, um, I want to do another scene. Um, Hold I'm on a sec. We have five dice in play given to players, so we only did four scenes. Uh, it's because did I didn't delete. No. Um, did I not delete someone's dice? You didn't delete mine. Yeah. No. Um, my white die. My white oh, die. I didn't delete your white die. That's yeah. What it was. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Um, God, that's so frustrating. Roll twenty. Agreed. Uh, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I think the scene's going to be uh, back in time with with Beatrice and and the Pastor again. Uh, in their house, uh, following up the commotion of the dog poop. Okay. Uh, Could you so, my name uh, when when you can. I didn't hear you. Uh, in road like in the group chat. Could you change it to Dominique in the on the roll twenty? I thought it was Dominico. Domingo, I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it should change my display. I was. I decided to change it to um, Dominique because I want to be an overbearing older sister instead of just an overbearing older brother. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Great. Um. So so this is a scene with with Beatrice and and, and Pastor. We're we're back in the kitchen and uh, and I'm like leaning eating a giant tub of peanut butter. Um, okay. And you come in uh, mad as hell, right? And uh, I, I look at you, I'm like, Sister, what seems to be the problem? Uh, it's this next-door neighbor. Dominique is her name. She's her mutt. Her, uh. And I, I walk to a drawer. Open, I open like a, a drawer in the kitchen. And you can see a roll of doggy poop bags. Because uh, <laughs> I have a dog. Mm. And so I'm like... <sighs> and I like, pick one up. And I go outside and I'm back and like... 10 seconds with it and drop it yeah. into the garbage. Ah, she's infuriating. There's... Well, I, I think I tell you about the uh, about the illness. I, I, I say, like, there's... She, she's not a human. She's one of them. Them? They're here. I don't know when they got here, but Dominique is... I, I don't. We don't like them, obviously, but she is just the worst. Uh, yeah. So uncivilized. So brutish. Yeah, and I think I like go to my uh, the sink and like rinse off the peanut butter spoon, and then ha just because I didn't want to, like super clean, and then I oh. start eating more peanut butter, like binge eat it. Butter. 
Um, so, I okay. Uh, I think um, I think uh, I'm so so. How are we gonna get rid of them? Is this part of the plan now? They're just <laughs> they're just another obstacle. They're, they're just another obstacle. We need to. Chris Nasser. Yes. He is the key. But Dominique knows. She, I've seen her watching the house. I've seen her watching as him and his family walk down the road. Oh, that won't he do. He knows our plan. That won't do it. We all. have to get to him first. Absolutely. We better we better act fast. Very. This is no longer about me just getting a house. This is about, it's about you. It's about that dog. Stop no longer pooping on your yard. This is way more important. Uh, Pastor, once we get, once I have succeeded, we'll have control over every house. You'll have one. You'll have ten. Ten houses. Ten, a hundred. That's a all huge of the status symbol with, against those humans. World. In the world? I have control over all the houses in the world. I can just kick people out, do what I wish. The Homeowners Amazing. Association is... It's the most powerful force of mankind, and it's at your fingertips. I am so close. Now, I believe... I, I, I probably, like, get out my cell phone and check it. Ah, yes. Chris has a, uh, a date with his wife in uh, 20 minutes. I'll go happen to sit at the table next to him and then talk to him when, he goes, when she goes to the bathroom. Voila. And I'd probably like get in my car and drive. All right, cool. Uh, see. Um, so what die do I get? Um. Hmm. Well, you're pretty compassionate to your alien friend, so. Good karma. Wait, I think. Yeah. Why die? I think white okay. die. Yeah. Happy with giving you white. Okay. Um, now I have to delete that one, and then I select it again. And uh, I'm gonna give this one to um, you, Dominique. You get the white die. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Cool. That's my scene. Cool. So I think, um, yeah, I think I'll establish it, which means you guys get to say how it ends, poorly or badly. Yeah. Um, and. Now, Those are your two choices, poorly or badly. <laughs> poorly or badly. Not so bad, sort of bad, or really bad. Yeah. Um, so I think that here would be an interesting thing, and I think they did it in the tabletop, but I don't know if it was technically in the rules. They actually chose the dice before the scene ended, um, and then that actually reflected the ending of, like, we would say, we would actually narrate the scene uh, bad for the main character. Does that work for you guys? Works for me. Okay. Works for me. Who would like to play the handsome, famous, probably wealthy Chris Nasser? I could. Um. Yeah. I I thought of it, but uh, Eric should probably do it. Okay. He's certainly better at being the suave, debonair, handsome person. Okay. So uh, yeah, I think that uh, the next scene is what I described. Um. So I will. Uh, so. Beatrice, yeah, she pulls up with her car into, um, it's probably not even like a big, it's like the nicest restaurant in the neighborhood. It's a nice neighborhood, but it's still probably like just a really fancy coffee shop or something. Oh, yeah, it's like a third world, a third wave coffee shop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, she's like, she pulls up to there, um, and then she Darn is... roast. Yes, actually. God damn it. <laughs> she... I think, yeah, it, it, there's probably a line, as there usually is in these, to, to actually order. Um, and then she just happens to... Uh, no, I think you actually see her cut in line, but like she, she just gives the person who is about to speak up like a withering look. Um, and then, yeah, she just happens to have been behind um, Chris Nasser and his wife. Um, and yeah, I think she pretends to be like good friends with them. Um, She's probably she's somewhere on the homeowners association. Uh, we haven't established. Oh yeah, there. so um, so they know each other. Yeah, so so Chris is like, oh, Be Beatrice, what are you, what are you doing here? Oh. Chris, it's so lovely to run into you. Uh, and I think I'm gonna 
we'll leave it to you guys. What is her wife's name? Because I think we need to name Someone her. else needs to play the wife. I'm not doing that. Oh, that's true. Wife. Actually, who wants to play the wife? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So Beatrice, just to give you the heads up, nice. Beatrice basically ignores the wife and just like will say will like nod and yeah and things like that. And then whenever she has she says something meaningful or asks a question, it's to Chris. She she's like vying for his attention and mostly ignoring her. So I wanna let you you know that that's what's up. I am so as soon as I saw this as soon as um, I think Nino's got it. I said, what's what are they? Okay. Nest Nestor? No. Chris Nasser, Nasser. Yeah. Nasser. Nasser. So as soon as I see like this a um, woman come up to my husband, I like just <laughs> kind of tighten my grip on his arm, you know, yeah. just to pull him, just to pull myself a bit closer. And I was like, me and my as a, as soon as you say that, like me and my husband were just about to get a table. And- yeah, I had a really busy day playing eighteen holes. <laughs> yeah, and he so was I. So I no, not the eighteen holes, getting a table. How was the eighteen holes though? What was your score? It was pretty good. I, uh, I mean, I don't want to brag as I grab my collar, uh, but uh, I don't know I did, I did a very high qual- quality golf score that I don't know as yeah. a player. Yeah, <laughs> you, you say something, I'm like, <gasps> probably like wow or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, like par, it's, it's right? Not under yeah. par. It's just under par. Yeah. As he says that, I go, Pookie Dearest is such an accomplished golf player. He is just, he is, isn't he? The, he is I just think. on top of the. On top of the golf board, his picture is hanging above the bar. There, it is very, it is a very to do affair. That is a fantastic <laughs> picture. It's, it's like the darkest roast annual golf tournament, and it's like just my yes. face on like every year. <laughs> yeah, that's yes. amazing. So maybe you are actually. Well, maybe Chris is actually well, a really good golfer. Not that this wasn't, not that this wasn't riveting, but me and my uh, darling husband were just about to go and get seated. So lovely yeah. to meet you. Talk yeah, to you. yeah. Our, our our double double venti uh, local frappuccino yeah. mochas are, are 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 ready. And uh, hey, it was great seeing you, Beatrice. And I'll see you probably the next uh, HOA, right? Most definitely, of course, I'll be there. I'm always there on time. You know me. You know me, oh, Chris. Oh, yeah, you are, you are quite the punctual person. Yes, thank you, I try. Um, and then I think I am tempted to end the scene there, uh, but if we have time, I want to just, like, we think it's over, and then she sits, she's, like, happens to sit down at the only free table, which is right next to them. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, it's a small world. <laughs> Yeah. And then, okay. as I see, I like, like shoot you, like a, a, like momentary look of daggers, but then that's gone, and my face is back yeah. to like, you know, socialites. I'm like, ah, you see, ah, we usually reserve that spot for our friends that come by, but I see they weren't able to. Be. I'm not a friend. I'm hurt. Well, we, mean, we mean friends. We mean our friends. Not that you are friend. Perish the thought, a good lady. Chris, am I your friend? Ah. Uh, and I like look at my yeah. wife. Who's <laughs> like super angry. At, at this yeah. point, you can feel. At this point, you can feel oh, your well, heart being I mean, always squeezed against my side. Yeah, there's um. Boy, this coffee is really good, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it, honey? <laughs> this place. Um, and then I probably was while like I. I I probably am reading a book while we talk or like have it open. And then you see from like over her shoulder, it's like this weird alien script that she's oh, reading. Nice. Um, it's just lovely. And yeah, the, actually the book cover is like, Can I I make it or something. Wait, I'm sorry. I, I didn't I hear what it, what is it? The book cover is like pride and prejudice or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Could I make it like Mrs. Mrs. Nestor, like just the bogus standard high class human. Oh yeah. yeah, she absolutely is. Yeah, you can. She can be whoever you want her to be. This is the first time we've seen her. In the middle of all this alien stuff, she's just like just a regular, like very haughty human. Yeah, yeah. Well, Chris so is Chris. They're yeah. humans. Yeah, exactly. And like so we probably... have to like impersonate humans to get their affection. Like, exactly. Oh, nice human things. <laughs> just human things. Hashtag. <laughs> um. So I think I'm like, yeah, the coffee is amazing. I can't believe it. Um, how long since have you guys? I don't been know any, since I don't know any coffee speak, I'll just say insert a lot of very good yeah, sounding coffee lines or here. something like that. Yeah, it's just insert co- insert good yeah. hearty coffee speech here. Yeah. yeah, this Colombian has such a berry taste. Yes. So, have you tried their house brew? The bean is grown 
here in the community garden? Uh, I don't usually go for community beads. We usually only eat, what? drink, and happy luwak at home. You don't know, go like for homegrown, local products that people put their hard work, people that you know, put their hard work into. Sarah! At this point, at this point I try to like very delicately shift uh, my husband's attention to me. Yeah. It's like, him. I'm like, like I was well, like trying to make you look bad in front of your husband. Yes, and I go, hmm... Maybe I might, maybe I might drink some of it. Maybe I might drink some of it one day, and then just look it back at you. I can only recommend it, Chris. You've had it, haven't you? I think I thought I saw you order it once. The local brew. <laughs> Me at the local? No, yeah, here, I the, couldn't. The, have... the home bean. I, I, I'm sure. At this point, I've let go of your arm, and I'm just like checking my phone for something. Yeah. I probably uh, because I'm you're not, not looking, I'm I'm, 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 I'm not I'm nodding but being like no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, awesome. Well, it was very nice to see you. I I think the coffee's getting to me. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah. And I think that's the end of the scene. Awesome. Great. Great scene. Um, I'd like it I'd like the end of the scene to be me going in after um her to yeah. like be, Haughty, haughty wife, stay away from my property. Thing. White die for sure. I think. Well, it's not my decision. White die. That's vote. true. It's uh, your guys' decision as a group. I think because yeah. I vote. I, I, yeah, I, I vote white die. Yeah, I'll go with that. Sure. Awesome. So I will give that white die to. I think I want to give it to Dominique Cross because of oh, thank you. Nano's excellent portrayal of the wife. The haughty suburban MVP. housewife, yes. Yeah. So. Uh, awesome. Um, next, it's. You. Um, isn't it? Or is it me? Uh, no, it's you. Now it is it's you. you it's you, Nana. Adam. Uh, actual one is finished. So for this, I would like for you to give me a black die, and then I could, and then you're the ones that say the scene, right? Yes. All right. So black die. I was like downstairs in this like alien gene locked sort of room in our house. Like this could be oh, now or later, man. you know, whatever. Definitely, definitely got to do something with Rudy here, and I think the the gene lock thing has something to do with the corpse of the relative. Yeah, uh, it might make sense if Rudy, like, just oh out of God. excitement, if you think it makes sense for Rudy, it, like, it mm. tells you about her encounter with Pastor Father Reverend out of excitement. What if? Um, and then you react how you think you your character reacts. Okay. What were you saying, Eric? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking, what if, um, hear me out on this, what if your animal is the reincarnation of, of the of the? Kid? You're doing, like, of, weird of experiments to transfer the body. Yeah, the like, like the corpse, animal, right? Or the mind like, you talk to the, the yeah, the mind, it has to go in the dog. Because, of, of course, if the person's live again, there won't be any investigations. Humans aren't yeah. that smart. We'll just, he'll be alive again, and he was the... Yeah. He's just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he was just sleeping for about three months. <laughs> what do you think? Dude, I'm, I'm just an idea it. I had. Just an idea. Yeah. But it's... It could be both of those together: the whole Rudy thing and the dog thing. Do you think that works? Yeah, that sounds fine with me. Awesome. Okay. And scene. So we're downstairs trying to transplant the um, consciousness of whoever the relative out of the dog into a new host. Is that right? Yeah. All right. So that's a black die for me. Mm -hmm. right. Yep, so you'll get to give it away at the end of the scene. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm happy with that. So maybe like, so are you, is Adam like down working on that? Yeah, I think Adam, yeah. I feel like I'm doing the hard work. Of course, of course you're doing all the hard work. Yeah. 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 So. And I just, I just at the end of it, I'm kind of like, and how is my dearest beloved brother working going on our super secret project? That I don't actually say super secret, I just say on our project. Yeah. The renovations. Yes. The coding's almost finished. And you can see but, I've got like this um, 1980s massive bank computer 
<laughs> beating machine in the basement. Yeah, it's like making all sorts of weeps, weird beeps and boops. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I say, ah, and how is our passenger doing? <laughs> In this case, a passenger refers to our relative. Yeah. And so I just look over at like a body that's like sitting somewhere nearby. Mm. And so well, that could be the end of the scene. He's being yes. sustained well for now, so um, I suppose that's why we picked it. And then I just like rotate a dial and then just like flick a switch on and off in a particular like Morse Cody order. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Keep up the good work, my my brother. And then I just walk upstairs, and there's just the click of heels up the stairs. Okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay, and you get a black awesome. die for that. Yeah. But you have to give the black die away. You do. Who too? I think I shall give the black die to... Beatrice, because she doesn't have any black dice. <laughs> Your wrath, my wrath is returned. Mm hmm. All right. So I was like, actually, I'd like to think that since I'm like this golden child, like wonderful sister, I'd like, I would like, <laughs> actually, am I allowed to say anything at this point, or is this someone else's? Uh, are you talking about in the, in the scene, or what? Well, we're between yeah, scenes like, right now. Oh, well, yeah, we're between scenes. So you can say oh. that. I was going to be, I'd like the next scene, maybe like have Beatrice talking to their parents through, you know, using some kind of alien communicator or something. It just be like the golden child or something. I think this would be an interesting case of we never see your parents or you just don't have them because you're aliens. Yeah. So maybe then it would be someone like just being a golden child out with friends. Yeah. Oh, or maybe at work, like being However, just like. The next scene will involve Rudy. That he is the main Rudy is the main character of the next scene. All right, so we'll have to wait cool. till Act Two. Yeah. Yes. All yeah. right. Yep. So this I will be the last play. scene of Act One, and then we're gonna we're gonna do the tilt after break. Yep. All right. So Rudy, I want black dice. Tell me what to do. Hmm. Uh, we could have sort of a split scene of um. Basically, uh, I think, yeah, Dominique, is, it starts off with Dominique and Rudy, her driving him to youth group. It ends up, uh, and it ends afterwards with him, it, that probably goes badly, it's a black die, so it, that, they pro you probably get into an argument as, or some sort of, like, issue yeah. uh, in the car. You get out, and then the scene continues as you meet Father Reverend at the church. Mm -hmm. I think that sure. makes some sense. Is that good with everyone? Yeah, that's fine with me. So, like, what's um, so what happening is oh, we're driving. Yeah. I think that it's a, it would be a good idea to start um, highlighting once we are talking to Father Reference the replacing the leader mm -hmm. thing. Oh no, I got it. Don't worry, you're good. Okay, awesome. Then, uh, yeah, I'm ready. For <laughs> I will be silent. Beatrice is not here. Okay, be from the front. We're racing into the car. Um, I'd like to think that Adam is driving because um, Dominic yeah. doesn't drive. Okay, sure. I'm she's driving. Just, she's making sure you're driving safely. We're hearing yes. the song Pompeii by Bastille on the radio. Just kind of in this muffled, it's in the car sort of way. <laughs> and we're driving like through like this kind of like roundabout slash cul-de-sac sort of thing and then out of the neighborhood and then like onto this like larger road remember to look both ways adam <laughs> remember that not everybody's driving That's as not my name. You. stop I calling mean, me that i mean um remember to look both ways rudy not everybody drives as good as you i just look at you like that's the most idiotic thing a person could say. Like, if I'm the if I'm the good driver, then I'm looking both ways, and then kind of gave itself, or yeah. I'm just, and as you said, that I'm just sitting there serenely, like looking, making sure you're looking at Kate over at you occasionally to make sure you're driving properly. I mm -hmm. 
I can drive, but I just choose not to because my wonderful brother could drive me everywhere. Exactly. And so, um, would you actually come up to the place of like, so where are we, where are we going today? You didn't tell me where we were going. I'm going to see some friends. Oh, friends. That's cool. Tell me about your friends. I'm just looking at you. What if I don't want to? What if I don't want to talk? Maybe I'm the sort of person who's quiet. Maybe I'm a quiet human. Well, I guess a quiet human could also be a quiet and hungry human. Or maybe a quiet, hungry, and without peanut butter human. I wonder how... We haven't really explored how, how like, I fit on that. I feel I like, like I must, mm -hmm. but... You're not the peanut butter, you're the condiment aliens. Yeah, I had an idea. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, all right. So, like, without without tomato and mustard, like, because I'm the one that buys it. Yeah. Because I'm the one that has the money, but I always carry it. And stuff. I love it. I love the aliens that we only eat condiments. Yep. <laughs> well, it's it's just nutrient paste. It's just yeah. more flavorful than what we're used yeah. to. We're not used to solid right. foods. Uh, I think we I have um, Scruffy in the back part, like in the back seat and he's just yeah. looking happy and he were and I'm like I stop the car I just like pull over and I'm not really there yet cuz I'm like maybe 50 yards away from where I would need to drop myself off or to park or something mm -hmm. and I'm just like am I just like good old dad back there you just yeah. control me by feeding me. And I just I just silently hold up my hands. You're incredibly, incredibly clever. Thank you. I happen to think I'm very clever too. It might be might be at that point you guys start showing up to the church. Yeah, I, I think I'm crawling up at like ten miles an hour and I'm just like just like enough so that I can look at her and give her like glaring eye contact. Yeah. And I'm, I like, I'm only going at like 10 miles an hour, but then I break so fast that it's jolting. Yeah. I like to and think that I, as I was looking at my phone, my phone drops and lands on the dashboard that I just look at you like my, uh, like my poor brother still hasn't learned how to use the brakes yet. Yeah, and I think you, I can feel your glare, even though you aren't looking at me, so that we're, there wouldn't be what to have be had. <laughs> I'm just like pat you a little too hard on the cheek, and I'm just like, what a wonderful sister I have. Anybody would love to have you as a sister. And then I just get out of the car, and like the suspension, like you can feel it, like rolling and creaking and whatnot, and then I just slammed the car. Yeah. So, um, at at the youth group, um, I guess I, we're in the basement. Oh, and I take the dog inside. Okay. I, I thought I was going to go home with the dog. Or, like, walk. Oh, I know. Since oh, I, don't... I thought you couldn't drive. Yeah, I was going to say that, like, since I couldn't, well, I was going to go with I can drive, but I just don't want to. So I'm going to be like, oh, I'm just yeah. going to take the dog and just walk about with them. While that makes the sense. Jacko, and how long are you going to be with your friends? Well, maybe um, you and the pastor are just meeting or something. No, just silent treatment, you. Oh. I was like, okay, well, if you're not in back in an hour, I'm going to drive off. Silent treatment. Yeah. Well, God, Rudy? Rudy, is that you? And I'm just like, I don't know you're an alien, so I'm, I just think you're a friend for me to have out of anyone in the universe. Mm -hmm. I'm just like... I just like to like, shoot you a finger gun or something. Oh, oh, straight shooter. <laughs> How are you, buddy? 
<laughs> welcome, welcome to Extreme Team Bible Study. How do you do? And I think this is just like some sort of human like meeting thing. So yeah. I didn't think I had to bring up like a Bible or journal or anything. So Oh, don't worry. Oh, you you look stressed like you're supposed to bring a Bible. Oh, don't worry, we got plenty. Listen, uh um, wait, 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 what? <laughs> uh, so, come on, come on, come in. The rest the rest of the kids, the rest of the kids are here. Uh we got we got some donuts. You know, we got we got donut holes uh, there, and, and 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 coffee and water, and um, and and those hard candies that, that no one likes. We got we got a bunch of those, and uh, hey, uh, actually, uh, real real quick before we begin um, and stuff, uh, I, I pull you off to the side quietly, and uh, I look at you, uh, and I like put my hands on your shoulders, and I like get down at your level. I'm like, you gotta help me, son. I know you. I know your secret. I'm pretty sure oh. you know mine. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I. And I'm well, like, that's a little awkward. Well, I helped you out before at the dog park, so. Listen. Well, I'm with him. What do you want? It's about my sister. <laughs> I think. I think you know about having problems with sisters. Then I like look back. Yeah. And I, I'm look, waiting until she's out of view, like... I'm already gone. Like, once like, I said, have fun... Yeah. Like, what's it? And then I'm like, I don't know, somewhere, like, I've walked off somewhere to the park, or, like, I couldn't even so hear you're, you. So, yeah, you're, you're off screen. You're, you're off screen, screen right? right? A solitary building that's, like, a bathroom facility. Yeah. Just, like, with, like, stonework on the outside and, like, on top of cement or something. Okay. And then, like, I see her take the dog and, like, walk behind that. And I just wait until she does that. And then I, I nod very vigorously. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm like, listen. She's terrible. <laughs> Kiddo, if you think your sister's bad, you haven't met my sister. And, uh, and I, I tell you, um, like, listen, she's got big plans and we got to stop her. She's trying to get the homeowner association. She's trying to corrupt that Chris Nasser fella. Break up their relationship, which is sanctified by God, mind you. And listen, I, I, I'm 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 deep undercover, but she can't she can't do it. I'm I'm secretly and I I I, I um I think I look back I open there. actually I, I open a um I'm ready to do just about anything. I, I I go into one of my pockets and I pull out a bunch of ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise pockets and I'm like I've been smuggling uh, them for for years. She she still hasn't caught on. I'm like I said, man. I'm one of you. I'm deep undercover. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, you 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 are. You're actually. That's what I'm saying. You're not them. You're. <laughs> Yeah, listen. We got, them, listen, listen. We got, we got, we got to talk about the Book of John real quick. But, but we'll get back to this. <laughs> like, <laughs> and that's uh, that's the scene. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Sorry. I'm I am deep undercover. I decided. Cool. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Don't wanna be. So myself. we have finished Act One. Uh, is that black die? Oh, we gotta give up that that die, right? Did you want a black tie? Yep. You said black tie beforehand, yeah, you said, right? You said yeah. black tie before. Okay. So who do you want to give it to? Yeah, you get I am going to aim it like an arrow at Oh goodness. At who? Sorry. At oh goodness. I'm going to aim it like an arrow at Dominique. Um. Thank you, my dearest brother. Awesome. <laughs> cool. So uh, we're gonna go to our next break here because uh, it's top of the hour and we're a little bit behind on that. And um, because we had, I want to finish the first act here, and uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll come back. We'll finish up the tilt, and then the uh, the ending for for the last section here. Once upon a game. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in five minutes. Yay! Break time. Woo! Woo!